So it's about one o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so I just got up. I came into her office and I'm trying to do a bit more decluttering. I found some boxes of photos that I've been going through. But some of this little stuff, I'm just not sure what to keep and what to throw away. So this desk clutter stuff, I just don't know what do people buy at estate sales? What do people throw away? I mean, this calculator probably, somebody would buy it. But what about, like, you know, sticky notes and all of these pens and just random notepads? I mean, do they just throw it all out? Do people buy it? I don't know. So I'm kind of wondering what to do with all this stuff. Like, it's all nice stuff. Some of it's brand new. I don't know if it's worth trying to sell it or just give it away. I really need to do some more research about estate sales and what people put out for sale and what people throw out. I'm kind of lost right now. So that's where I'm at, at one o'clock in the morning. So it's day two. I just woke up, I took the garbage out to the street, and I just feel, I'm just so exhausted. I did not sleep well at all last night. I was up at one o'clock in the morning trying to hook up the Wi-Fi, and I have discovered that her internet service is down. It goes down for days at a time. Her internet service is just terrible. I'm just really tired. I don't want to do this anymore. It's only been one day. And I just feel completely lost and overwhelmed. Like, the day hasn't even started yet. There's just so much trash here. I'm just gonna have to rent a dumpster. But you only get it for seven days, and after that you pay per day. And I can't clean all this out in seven days, at least not by myself. I'm really stuck on what to just throw out and what would sell at an estate sale. I don't have much experience with that. Right now I feel like just throwing everything out. I'm probably going to just call somebody and have them finish this because I'm already tired. It's been one day. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, my back hurts. I just don't wanna do this. I just wanna go back to my life, my simple life of minimal things. I want to go back to my routine. I don't want to clean out somebody's mess, their hoarded mess. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to post a car for sale, see if somebody would buy it, but I think I'm just going to call Carvana or a dealer and just have them come pick it up. You know, I might get a few hundred dollars for it. It's a Honda Civic. It has 95,000 miles. I should get between five and seven thousand dollars for it, but I really don't want to deal with the hassle of washing it, photographing it, having people come over and look at it. Like, I just want to be done with it. Just somebody come take it away. I just want somebody to come over here and just take all this 
stuff away. I still haven't decided if I want to keep the house as a rental or I can use it for a summer house. So I'm trying to decide what furniture I want to keep or if I should just get rid of everything. I'm having a hard time making decisions right now. This is just really out of out of routine for me. Like I just, I'm the type of person I like my routine. I want to wake up and, you know, have my day planned of just doing things I want to do, not cleaning out somebody else's mess. I'm, I'm, the, I'm starting to get really angry. I can't do this on my own. I, I'm i going to have to call somebody or I don't know what. I'm just starting to lose it. This isn't what I want to do with my life. I know it's just temporary and I'm... I just kind of need to get through it. I just, I just don't want to be here. I don't want to be cleaning this out. I just want to go back to my home. And be with my cat. And just live my life. So... If you're listening to this and you're a hoarder, please do not leave this for your children to clean up. It's just very selfish. Just don't do this to them. Just don't you die and you take the easy way out and everybody else gets left with the work. I know my mom had like compulsive shopping issues. I know she was a pack rat and I knew this was coming when she died. I just didn't think it would be this hard. I was thinking, oh, it'll take a few weeks, I'll clean it out, and I'll be done. And when you start doing it, it's not that easy. I'm just completely lost and unmotivated right now. So, if anybody takes anything from this, just please live a minimal life. Stuff is just stuff. It doesn't make you happy. People make you happy. Experiences make you happy. Not stuff. It just gets in the way. You stumble over it. You have to clean it. You have to maintain it. You have to get rid of it. It's just a terrible burden. I don't know what else to say, but I hope anybody listening to this changes something in their life. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just get rid of your stuff. <laughs> it doesn't do anything for you. It just causes a lot of work for you and everybody around you. <laughs> I'll see how today goes and I'll
try to film when I can. Hopefully the day will get a little better. So I put some empty containers, these little Tupperware things that were just sitting around the house. I'm gonna put these out on the porch, offer them up for free and see what happens. So it's about 11 o'clock and the containers are gone. They came by and took it all. So I'm out here in the garage and my dilemma is I'm not sure what sells at the estate sale and what I should just donate to Goodwill. I mean, here's a jar of plastic fruit. Is anybody going to buy that? Should I just take it to Goodwill? I don't know. It's all just kind of random junk. Apron. Probably donate. Did somebody buy it? Smart space magnetic wall organizer. Somebody would probably buy that. And then there's just like a roll of fabric. Empty pots. Welcome mat. Big ball of string. Toolbox. That would probably go to Goodwill. It's empty. There's this old dolly here. Is anybody going to buy that at the estate sale? Should I take it to Goodwill? That's my dilemma. So, I'll try to figure this out. So, I was encouraged by people picking up those empty storage containers. Um, I put them on Facebook Marketplace. That seems to be a good place to get rid of stuff. I'm thinking about all this food sitting here. It's just overwhelming the kitchen and the laundry room and the garage. I think... I might put that out and just say everything's a dollar because I, I just need to get rid of it. I don't have the transportation to take it to a food bank. It was just too much. It's not going to fit in my car. I just need to sell it and get it out of here. So I think I'm going to put it on Facebook. Everything's a dollar and hopefully people will come and get it. I hope so because groceries are really expensive right now and a dollar is a really good deal on brand new food. I really wanted to get the garage cleaned out. If I'm taking stuff to Goodwill, like I'll have to rent a truck. My car is just too small. Either that or I get the pickup running. I don't know how long that's going to take. That's just the whole ordeal on itself because I'll have to call AAA, they have to come out and tow it. I'll have to find a repair shop. And then I have to go, I don't know how long it'll take to repair. And then I have to go pick it up, bring it back and then keep it running. Like you have to start it up every month. Otherwise the gas goes bad and it clogs up the fuel lines and I think that's what happened this time and I don't live here so that's another problem I'm just gonna be driving back and forth all the time cleaning out this house keeping the pickup running it's just uh, I don't know what to do about that maybe I should just run a u-haul and 
take the stuff to Goodwill, even though it'll cost more. Um, but those are my thoughts for right now. So I'm about halfway through the second day. This morning I went to the gym, that felt really good. And I came home and I've just been sorting the living room, trying to collect books with the books and magazines with magazines and sewing stuff with the sewing stuff because it's all just a big mess in the living room. So this is what the living room looks like. Still a big cluttered mess. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the books together, but this is the situation. So I think I'm going to start having multiple garage sales and just clear stuff out as they sell. It's hard to know what's gonna sell and what's not. So I think I'm going to just put everything out. If it doesn't sell after two or three garage sales, I'll either just throw it out or donate it. But today is Friday. I'm not going to be able to have a sale this weekend. And the garage door opener is broken. I scheduled an appointment for that. They're coming on Monday. So I need to get the garage cleaned out so I can have a sale. And I'm just really tired right now. I think I'm going to take a nap. Also, I just want to say really quick, I've been noticing random things just fall over. The vacuum fell over in the middle of the night last night, and then this bear statue fell over on the bookshelf this morning. So I'm pretty sure my mom is here, which is comforting. I knew she would be here, and I just hope I'm doing the right thing with her clean-out process. Right before she died, I asked her to give me a sign that she was okay. And so I think that's how she's talking to me right now. So I'm cleaning out this drawer of DVDs. And she has one, two, three copies of Inception. I don't understand why she has three copies. <laughs> 